Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about my favourites over the last three months. So I'm talking about July, August and September. I know I'm a bit late, but I've had, I've been travelling all over and I could have filmed it while I was abroad, but I didn't have half the products with me and I wanted to make sure I could show you swatches and all that good stuff. So let's get into this. So the first thing I want to talk about is setting spray and this Morphe setting spray has been my go-to like the whole of July and August and half of September, the only reason it hasn't been for the majority of September and the rest of this month is because it's basically empty. There is a Morphe store now open in the UK and I'm going to go to it tomorrow. I cannot wait to go and pick this up and maybe like one or two of the Jaclyn brushes. This, I don't think I have enough to spray. This is a continuous setting mist and if you ever go overboard with face powder or anything like that, like I'm an oily girl and I go over board so easy with face powders. So I'll be like baking over my face or I'll like overdo it with blush or highlight or something like that and this just makes everything melt into the skin and just make everything look just so much more cohesive and less powdery. Um, I love this for this and I will continue to repurchase this. But while we're on setting sprays, I also want to talk about the Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. I really struggled to say it the first time. The setting spray I used today. When I want something that does what my Morphe does, but also holds everything together and keeps it on there for a long period of time, this is what I go for. This is scented, so if you don't like that, then maybe don't pick it up. But you can get this off Amazon. Catrice is hard to get a hold of in the UK, but this is so worth trying out. If you don't want to try out that Morphe one, then this, especially like as a little travel bottle. I think both of these are brilliant. So speaking of powders, um, I have been obsessed, obsessed with trying to find a powder at the drugstore that's as good as my um, Too Faced peach powder because that is my go-to loose setting powder but this is the Rimmel Match Perfection loose setting powder this silky loose setting powder and this is in transparent I've got a feeling you can get this in other shades but it's the perfect shade for me I used it today to dust over my face to bake to set my under eye concealer to set my um, eyeshadow primer and it's just a really, really good powder. It's not amazing packaging, but you know what? It does what it needs to. And you get a lot of powder in here. I, I've used this for like three months straight and I still have a decent amount here. Let's talk about eyeshadow. So I've got three eyeshadow palettes to share. For the first, like, first month easy, I was obsessed with this Beauty Bakery palette. This is the Neapolitan Eyes Cream palette and you get a decent sized mirror. And you get all of these gorgeous, luscious shades. Seven shimmers and five mattes. The only one I don't really understand is, is this purple. Don't understand why it's there. Honestly, they could get rid of that and just put like a matte sort of cream shade. I know like I'm pale. So, um, but I feel like if they put a matte cream shade, that's just easy to clean everything up. Like this light shade isn't the greatest. It's quite like chunky, I feel. So I don't like to put this really in my inner corners but the rest of these shades this like orange shade is also the names really confuse me i have to just kind of get over that but this one's called strawberry what some of these names are so confusing you can see there that these these two are mattes and these two are shimmers and like those mattes are really really good they blend like a dream this wafer shade this wafer shade is my favorite like is my favorite eyeshadow of all time it's just so flattering I don't it's, it doesn't come across well enough even when I swatch it like it's like a satiny sort of shade and all over the lid with some like deeper sort of shades I love how blendable these are and they're now available on QVC for the people available in the UK so another eyeshadow palette which I've already kind of apologized to elf a little bit in another video but this I feel like it should be a little bit cheaper. It should be maybe seven pounds or something. If it was seven pounds, I'd be like, yep, yeah, this is great, just buy it, it's fantastic. But it's ten pounds and it's ten dollars. That doesn't make sense. But this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. This is the original. And this just has some really bog standard sort of shades in it. The ones I talked really bad about was the Need It Nude and the Rose Gold. I still don't like those, I think they're crap. Um, but this, this is beautiful. 
again it has like this really amazing white sort of shade that I love to put on my brow bone and these colors these blend like a dream I use this for the same looks a lot of the time I will be honest but I have dabbled in quite a few of the shades and they all they're all just really really good I mean look at that you get 10 eyeshadows, so it's pound and eyeshadow, which isn't too expensive. Um, it's a nice little compact, which I appreciate. But I will say you have to be careful with these Mad for Matte palettes because some of them are hits and some of them are misses. And this one's a hit, but there was some misses. The Alma Cosmetics palette, I've talked about this so many times on my channel. Um, this is one of my absolute favourite eyeshadow palettes of an indie brand. I think that these mattes and these shimmers are so pigmented, so stunning, so creamy, so buttery, like that, so blendable. They are the best eyeshadows I have in my collection. And I have Pat McGrath on my eyes right now. And I think this is better. Honestly, I think this is better. This is a better brown, like these shimmers are just like smooth and creamy and they're shades you don't really see very often. Look at that! So while we're still talking about eyes, uh, I just want to mention a few eye products that I've been loving. So the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. Honestly, I, I do love this, I do, but I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it because I feel like my Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer is, does exactly the same. It's just that this has uh, a spoolie and it's just so easy to just sort of stick on your eyes and just tap it out and you're good to go. Whereas with the other one, you've got to like squeeze it on your hand, then get it off your hand, then. So it's just like an extra step. <laughs> but honestly, if you really like Urban Decay and you don't want to try Wet n Wild, then this eyeshadow primer potion is so good. If you don't want a tint one, like this is perfect for my skin tone, but they do have just like the original one, which has the exact same formula. It's just clear, I believe. I then have this NYX Trejoli, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, gel pencil liner in brown. I went back to this and forgot how good this is. It's just so, so pigmented. It glides on the eye. I'm wearing it on my waterline and upper waterline today. I love it. It glides on. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on an eyeliner. And, and then the mascara that I'm wearing today, which I'm literally hitting tube on. I think that's what you could say. So I'm wearing it today and I love, 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 love. Love this mascara. I'm not going to buy expensive mascaras anymore. Essence mascaras are killer. But this Volume Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara is like three pounds. Three pounds! And this does a better job than the majority of my high-end ones that I have. And even the L'Oreal Paradise. So I'm not buying expensive mascaras anymore. This one is my absolute favourite. But if they were out of this one, I would then get the false lashes and they didn't have the false lashes, I would get the last princess. I think it's the formula, but also the brush. Like the brush is slightly curved and it's fluffy. I no longer use plastic brushes anymore because I feel like these fluffy ones just give you so much more length and volume, and that's what I like. Okay, so I also wanted to talk about brow pencils. These are the two I have been stuck on. This ColourPop Brow Boss, I got this in the shade medium, uh, dark brown, and I filled in my brows with it today. I wish Colourpop was easier to get a hold of in the UK because this has the thinnest tip. It is just so easy to make brow hairs. It's so smooth. Like it has been getting a bit dried out recently but then I have been taking it to and from Malaysia so this is easily the best eyebrow pencil I have that's from the drugstore or drugstore pricing. And that says something because I have, I have tried a lot thin eyebrow pencils and this one just knocks every single one of the ones from the drugstore out of the park. But if you wanted something a bit more high end, this, this Kat Von D signature brow is amazing. I love it. It's got like a thin style to it. It's like almost like a straight line and it's just so easy 
to make brow hairs. It's very controlled. I really have been enjoying thin pencils to fill in my brows. So, 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 so good. So good. Some um, face products. I have the L'Oreal Life's a Peach Blush. One thing I want to mention is that I feel like there's a lot of L'Oreal products that aren't available in the UK. Like they, in America, you guys have got like the same blushes, but in so many different colors. We only have this one. Why? But thankfully I love this color. It comes with a really horrible brush, which I always throw away. And then it comes with a pretty good mirror. I use this quite a lot. It's very nice and clear. So I'm wearing this as my blush today. I love this. I love it because I've been using like blush palettes recently. And when I went back to this, I forgot. It's got like a radiant sheen to it. So if you didn't want to highlight your face <laughs> the way I have, this is such a nice subtle sheen and it's so warm and inviting. And I, I love this peach shade. I love and then my go-to contour has been this Hoola Light Bronzer. I've been using it as a contour. I actually love using this brush to just like, and it's just such a nice light shade uh, to contour with. I contour, like I said, I contoured with it today. It's been fantastic. And it, it, it smells really good. That's a plus. The highlights that I've been loving is this Merry Luminizer. I cannot Put this down. I haven't been able to put this down for about two months and when I picked something else up and bought it I realized it was because it was exactly the same shade as this. So I'm gonna mention that in a minute because I am wearing that today but this is this this, this is exactly the same. So look how like pigmented you, you get so much product. Like look at that. I don't know how well you can see that but it's like this golden champagne white sort of shade it's so good for people who are super super pale so i picked up this urban decay after go eight hour powder highlighter in sin i swatched it when i was in the urban decay store and then i saw it in the sephora and i had to pick it up and i think the reason i liked it is because it's exactly exactly the same <laughs> like these two next to each other if you like if you want something a bit more affordable, use Mary Luminizer. It also has a mirror in it. This one doesn't. If you have this, you don't need this. I forgot to mention this when we were on like the face products. But I wanted to mention this concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. I have it in the shade Extra Fair. This is such a good concealer. And it is so affordable. I this is super fair. Look at that. It is so fair, it's full coverage. I'm wearing it today with this like full face of makeup and it just stands on its own two feet. Like some of my concealers you do get a bit more. This is only 6.5 milliliters, but honestly, I will continue to repurchase this because this is probably one of my favorite concealers of all time. I just wanna quickly talk about a couple of lipstick products. I've been wearing the same lip products a lot and these three are all of them. This L'Oreal Ultra Matte liquid lipstick this is less chocolates collection and i got sweet tooth i have i have recently bought some more but this, this one i will use all the time and it's so pretty it's like this really amazing nude shade it smells like chocolates and it is so nice it it's just a really good nude shade to have and it lasts a ridiculously long time i will say a bit like beauty bakery liquid lipsticks don't smack your lips together because they will be super sticky let it completely dry down it will take about five minutes and then you are pretty budge proof all day something that isn't budge proof but i love it when i'm wearing a nude eye i will always pair this liquid lipstick this is a satin liquid lipstick by colourpop this is in the shade 0. look how destroyed mine is doesn't even have colourpop on it anymore but it's so good even like the applicator is destroyed but this 0 shade is so good i made my teeth look whiter it just, it it was so flattering and I always pick this up when I do a nude eye. This is the lip gloss I've worn for the last like month. Just throw something on my lips just so they look a little bit more juicy and plump. This is from Sephora and this is the Outrageous Effect lip glosses. Um, it has like a lip plumper effect and this is in shade number two which is like this nude shade. I love the packaging for this. Again, like it's a very nude shade but... I might want to stick like a lip liner on and I'll put this over the top and it's just so flattering and it makes my lips so much plumper and I love it. 
So uh, that is everything for this video. I didn't include misses this time because I knew I was going to be rambling on for ages. I actually had quite a few more products to include, but I'm going to be, I was going to be here forever. But I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you feel like it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!